Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie and if you're new here, hey, welcome. And if you're back, welcome back. Today I'm here with an unboxing from the fabulous folks over at Crafties and they actually sent this kit over to me to share with all of you. I am a Crafties affiliate and if you've been around for a little while, um, you probably know that I am pretty selective about companies that I will take on affiliate relationships for, but I have really, really thoroughly enjoyed working on the kits that I've worked on from Crafties and I love that they license their artwork and that they're receptive to feedback. They're just a company that generally I feel good about standing behind and like getting to share, share more about with all of you. So, as I mentioned, all of their kits are licensed from the artist, and that's something that's super, super important to me and a huge value of mine on my channel because stolen artwork is so rampant in the diamond painting and crafting world. Um, I really love getting to... <laughs> getting to support companies that are doing right by the artists, which means not only, wow, that's really loud. Sorry, you guys. <laughs> um, which means not only getting the artist's permission for use of their artwork in diamond painting form, but also compensating them fairly. Um, this did come just a little bit crunched here on the end. This seems to be a somewhat common um, occurrence with crafties as kits, but because the kit doesn't take up the whole width of the box or the whole length of the box. I haven't found this to have lasting issues on the kit itself, but we're gonna take a really close look at it just to be sure. So the kit we're gonna be looking at today is the kit Harmony from Sybil Art. Let me turn that fan off for you guys. So Harmony from Sybil Art, and um, this is from their brand new Glow Diamond Painting Collection. You guys, I really wanna get to this one soon because I am so curious to see how these new Glow Collection kits work up. I've seen one or two people work on them and they're gorgeous. <laughs> so on the box, we do have the rest of the info about crafties including their website and uh whatnot and everything that's included let's get into the box itself shall we all right so there is our kit okay so that's empty it doesn't look like the crunchy box did any damage whatsoever to the kit because like i said it's not by comparison you know it's got plenty of wiggle room in there <laughs> So this is relatively new to Crafties. I think that they just recently in the past month or two started including this. This is a sticker sheet. So you have um, this sticker over here you can use in your logbook if you like. That's probably what I'll use mine this for. And then over here we have all of the drills and this is a sticker inventory sheet and these are pre-cut. So if you're like me and you like to kit up your drills into storage containers, this is gonna make the kitting up process go really easily. Now we have all of the DMC codes here and then all of our symbols. We'll take a look at the canvas to make sure those all look really clear. The different colors on here signify different kinds of special drills and I'm not 100% sure just by looking at it, just this, which is which, so I'm not gonna try to tell you right now. <laughs> Once we get into the drills and look at the canvas, I'll be sure to go through all of those. I know at least one of those colors, maybe the yellow, <laughs> means that it's a glow-in-the-dark drill. So Crafties' canvases are on, um, they're poured glue, and uh, it's usually a pretty nice quality poured glue. I've worked on and completed a couple of kits from them. I will be sure to link to those unboxings as well as the post reviews for those kits down in the description if you'd like to take a look. Now, since this is poured glue, it is safe to roll back the opposite direction. This just helps it lay a little bit more flat. The canvas material on this is a pretty like stiff, um, and thinner canvas material. I have found that this does still hold the drills pretty nicely, but um, I'm not one to typically get too caught up in whether or not a canvas is super soft to the touch. Honestly, I just care more about like, will it lay flat? <laughs> and um, 
will it hold the drills well? A canvas like this, I don't, I don't know exactly what the material is. Is it like an oil cloth? Um, I may actually lay it flat. I might stick it like in between my um, mattresses, like under my mattress, to help encourage it to lay flat a little more quickly. Otherwise, I probably will just store this flat in an artist portfolio with the rest of my canvases that I don't store in the boxes they came in. And it'll lay flat eventually. It just is a little, little pickier. Ooh, hello. Hey, would you like a demonstration of why it is important to make sure you don't put the plastic down with the wrong side down? So I tried to rush putting this back down because it's wrinkled over here and accidentally put the wrong side down on the glue and it just, it's stuck there. So, <laughs> oh goodness, this might be a little bit of a hot mess unboxing today. That is okay. So we have branding at the top, crafties. Over here on the side, we have the thumbnail of the original artwork. This size, I believe, is actually incorrect. I believe that what it's advertised as on the website is 30 by 50. That's what's on the sticker as well. I will double check on that and we're gonna measure it and confirm that it's true to size for what it's advertised as. We have a legend over here on the side. Then we have the same schematic and legend on the bottom left. And then we have Crafties' website as well as their socials. Um, they, they do post quite frequently over there and they also do send out marketing emails pretty regularly. I suggest following them on their socials, signing up for their marketing emails. They do frequently send out promotions and discount codes. And speaking of promotions, I have a couple of different things I wanna tell you about really quickly. And this is for both um, those of you that have purchased from Crafties before and those of you that have not. So first, for those of you that have never purchased from Crafties before, but take a look and discover something you want to buy, if you would like to save a little bit on your first purchase while also supporting me and my channel, I do have an affiliate link and discount code, which I will link below in the description. It will save you 20% off of your first purchase from Crafties. Now, if you have already purchased from Crafties and you want to do some shopping and still save a little bit, uh, Crafties will be running just for my viewers a 20% discount that is good for three days only. I'm going to put all of the exact dates and info and discount code itself down below in the description. Please take a look. That is not an affiliate code. That is just a special discount that Craft Ease has offered um, that I get to share with you all just because they want to. They want my my viewers that have already purchased from them before to also have the chance to save a little bit of money. So thank you to Craft Ease for that. Let's get back to looking at this canvas. So I did notice. It looks like maybe there was an accidental cut here on the side. That wasn't from me because I didn't cut into the box you know, that way, but um, that's not a huge deal. I might just put <laughs> a little bit of like that liquid stitcher glue or whatever, just to make sure it's not gonna fray, but this material is not very fray prone. Anyway, looking at the symbols on the canvas, so we have the letters G and C, which are technically, yes, they're pretty close to one another, but this is printed very clearly. I'm not having any trouble distinguishing between the two. If you're taking a look here and seeing those white symbols look like there's absolutely nothing there, that is in fact correct. That's gonna be one of our special drills. I believe one of our glow drills. Um, this canvas is gonna work up really quickly because there is lots and lots of glorious color blocking and it's not that big of a canvas either. I think this is gonna be so pretty though. Yeah, the clo like I said, the closest symbols that I'm seeing that are just similar to one another, those G's and those C's, like you can see it here on this flower as well. They're just, they're really close, but again, when I'm looking at the canvas, I'm not having trouble distinguishing between the two. It's one of those things I just wanna make sure that I'm, I'm paying attention. <laughs> Let's do a quick measurement on this and see where we're at. So we are at just a tick shy of 30 centimeters wide. And then I wanna make sure I get this flat. Oops. 
All right, and we're almost exactly at 50. So 30 by 50, which like I said, even though it has a different size listed on the schematic, 30 by 50 is what it is marketed as. So you are getting what you have paid for. So let me show you, I should have done this right at the beginning and I just got sidetracked with how pretty this canvas is. But we have a basic toolkit that's gonna have everything you need to diamond paint. I find that Crafties is actually incredibly beginner friendly. Between them having kits that are on the smaller size and therefore like less intimidating to work on, the really beautifully hand charted kits, um, and the price point is really, really good. Um, I just think that they are such a good option for licensed artwork um, that's still gonna turn out beautifully that's really, really beginner friendly, but also really good just for even more experienced diamond painters that just wanna have some smaller size kits in their stash to work on. So, um, as I mentioned, here is the basic toolkit. We have a boat, a couple of plates of pink wax, two different pens with a couple of different sizes of multi-placer on the end, tweezers, and a couple of squishies to make it more comfortable to use these pens. Truly everything that you need to work on your diamond painting. Now let's take a look at the drills themselves. I am so, 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 so curious to get a look at the special drills that have been included with this beautiful piece. Now, while I did mention that this piece is licensed, I didn't mention who it is licensed from. Uh, this is, again, this is the kit, Harm the piece Harmony. It's from the artist Sybil Art. And yes, Sybil Art is licensed to more than one diamond painting company, and this is still above board. So if you're looking at the artwork and worrying about that, no worries, it is above board. But yes, Sybil Art has some really beautiful artwork and Crafties has licensed a number of different pieces from her and continue to release additional new ones regularly. So when we look at the drills, let's take a look. So on the bags themselves, you're gonna wanna look just at these numbers. These are gonna match up with the numbers on the legend or on the inventory sheet. So while the bags themselves do not have a DMC color code listed on them, um, you can still match them up with the legend in order, like if you're gonna kit down later and save your spare drills, your leftover drills, that's how you can tell what DMC they are. All right, let's take a look. So we have a really pretty dusty, here. I'll show you on this side since we don't need the numbers anyway. <laughs> dusty rose and brown. Oh, it's got more of a deep burgundy. Is this, I think this one is 310, yep. This one is 310, it looks like we have a few stragglers mixed in there, that's okay. So, but these are round drills and I see just a tiny bit of like dustiness in in the bag. Um, but that's the kind of thing that if the drills do seem to like appear dusty once they're down, you can just wipe over them with a soft like microfiber cloth really gently. Purple. And then this, I believe, yeah, number six. This is our first special drill. This is one of those glow in the dark drills. Look how pretty that is. Is this, is this mixed up? Because I don't think this color is supposed to be blue. Number six is gonna be the pink circle. Okay, I will have to double check on that. I wonder if this is a little mix up. Okay, so I paused to take a look and you guys, this is actually really, really cool. Let me explain. So I was initially really thrown because this first glow in the dark drill that's pictured is this gorgeous pale blue. And I'm looking and I'm like, the only pale blue that I see in this kit is in her eyelash or her, you know, eyeshadow rather. So I was looking at where it goes on the canvas and it goes, look here, in kind of this really kind of bright, almost neon pink, these flowers on her skin and here on the purse. And I was like, I am so confused. Why is, oh, and down here as well, like all this bright pink that you see. But then look at the original artwork. Those colors that we're talking about over here, bottom of her dress here, up here, like at her uh, shoulder, 
it's like a pale lavender. And so I think what they've done is if there wasn't like a pale lavender glow drill, we know what red and blue equals, right? How about pink and light pink and light blue? I think, yeah, look, 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 look. With that light blue drill on there, with the pink background, because these drills are slightly translucent, that's gonna appear, I think that's gonna appear like a pale lavender, you guys. Okay, that's super cool, right? <laughs> I don't know that I've really ever seen anything like that. I am dying to work on this and see what that effect is. But anyway, okay, let's focus, let's focus. So these gorgeous, pale blue glow drills. Like I said, they are a bit translucent. So we're gonna be able to see that background behind them. And these will glow in the dark. It's gonna have such a stunning effect. And if you are looking at Crafties' glow collection on the website, take a look at the individual listings because they have, at least I knew they did for this kit and a couple others that I had looked at specifically, they have example renderings of how this looks in the dark so you can see exactly which parts of the painting are highlighted with glow drills. It's, it's really, really cool. So let's keep going. The next two colors are these amazing crystal drills. Now these are also special drills, so many special drills in this kit, but they have a silver backing on them. So the only color you're really going to see is the color of the crystal itself. Now, if you're seeing a little bit of dustiness in the bag, that is super, super normal with crystal drills. Like I see that almost universally with crystal drills. Next up, we have another, yet yeah, another kind of special drill. So this is an AB drill. AB stands for Aurora Borealis and um, it's they've taken a regular drill and put this gorgeous iridescent coating on top that is going to reflect the colors of the drills around it and just really add lots of extra sparkle, like a really distinct sparkle to uh, the kit and where it's been charted. Now we have some regular but gorgeous pink drills, some really pretty aquas, which I think are probably in her eyeshadow, more brilliant pinks. If you like the color pink, like me, this is the kit for you. And then we have another crystal drill. You guys, how pretty are all these special drills? We will take a look and we're gonna see exactly where these different special drills are gonna go on this canvas. But before we do that, we do have just a few others. So number 17, this is a white AB. It's a subtle white AB, but you can see that, that shimmer on the top. That's gonna be so pretty. And then our second glow drill. Oh, this is going to be so pretty. Um, so this is just a clear glow drill and I think is going to do a lot of outlining in this piece and it's gonna be so pretty. So I love, 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 love that Crafties has these kits with multiple different kinds of special drills and it's all pre-charted for you. So if you're looking at this, let's do a really quick recap. So the yellow background, these two, those are the glow drills. The blue background, which we have three of our crystals and the orange background are ABs, which we have two of those. Let's look at where those are going to go. So first, this clear glow drill that I showed you first, it does indeed outline her. It literally just outlines her entire body <laughs> all throughout. It's just an outline of her and of her purse, of the butterfly, of the flowers, of her hair. It's just a really, really pretty outline. Our other glow drill, I already mentioned to you where that's gonna go. It goes where you see these bright pinks and with that pale blue layered over the pale pink or bright pink, I think it's gonna, the effect is gonna be purple, like a pale lavender. Now our crystals, we're looking for the numbers seven and eight and then the symbol Okay, so it's actually, look at these flowers up in her hair. So each of these flowers is entirely one crystal color. Like this one is K, this one is eight, this one is seven. Um, the butterfly as well is all crystals, one of the pink crystals. 
And I think that's all I'm seeing as far as those three crystals go. Next up, let's look where the ABs are going to go. So we have that bright red AB, which is the letter A. That's her lips. As well as this, is that a flower petal? Yes. Okay, so then these two, there's a, oh, there's a flower and then a bit coming from her hair here. These two bright red sections are that red AB. And the white AB is the letter N. Oh, wow. Okay, so all of her skin, literally all of her skin, with the exception of when you see this pale pink shading on the bottom, that's a regular drill. But the white in her skin all throughout her back, her arms, her face, all of that is white AB. Now, normally I'm not one to go for special drills and ABs in skin tones, but given the style of this artwork and that there's just so much AB overall, I'm open to it. I'm also open to it because again, to me, this is actually a really subtle AB coating. It's not like a really loud AB to me, but I will have to wait and see <laughs> what I think until I actually have those drills down. But you guys, this is going to sparkle so much. This is going to be so, so, so pretty. Again, I, I love so much about what Crafties has to offer between being really budget friendly and even more so if you use one of the discount codes that I mentioned, check below. Um, they also have all licensed artwork. They also have a lot of paint by number. So if that's a craft that you enjoy, be sure to check that out. And I love so much that they incorporate special drills and have them pre-charted for you in most, if not all of their diamond painting kits. So even if you don't necessarily want a kit with glow in the dark drills, they have lots of other options as well with really gorgeous, gorgeous special drill charting. So be sure to check that out. You guys, I definitely recommend taking a look at Crafties if you haven't before and you wanna try something a little bit different. I, like I said, I'm happy to stand behind them as an affiliate. I found their customer service to be really helpful as well. If you ever run into any issues, the shipping time is relatively quick and the quality is good. So let me know, of course, if you have any questions whatsoever, I'd be more than happy to help. Like I said, be sure to take a look in the description below for those discount codes I mentioned and don't don't sleep on it especially if you are not new to crafties and you want to take advantage of that three day only discount code that they're offering for you guys all right my friends thank you so much for watching i hope that this video was really helpful for you if it was please give it a thumbs up before you head out and of course if you're not already subscribed and would like to see more diamond painting content from me please feel free to hit the subscribe button and the bell to be notified when i share new videos all right, my friends, thanks again to Crafties for sending this over for me to share with all of you. And I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful week. I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.